it, the feeling can be described. Um, a lot of hurt still, a lot of emotion still, but at the same time, we happy she could come home. Breaking now at 6, Anna Carrillo's family finally getting some closure after police find her body. The search for Carrillo was stretched more than two months. Multiple police agencies spent the past two days searching near Johnson Park and Walker, but in the end, they found her remains elsewhere. Our team coverage continues tonight at 6, starting with 24-hour news aide's Heather Walker, who broke the news that Carrillo's body was found. She's live with how Carrillo's family is reacting now. Heather? Yeah, it was just minutes after that preliminary hearing was waived that the family learned the reason why. It was because Carrillo's body was found. Family members walked out in tears after learning the mother of three, Anna Carrillo, was found. It's been more than two months since she went missing. Her roommate says she left to pick up her kids at their father, Andrew Hudson's home, and never returned. And it's just a blessing, like I said, um, it, the feeling can be described. Um, a lot of hurt still, a lot of emotion still, but at the same time, we happy she could come home. Police found blood splatter in the basement and first floor of Hudson's home. Metal clothing class in a burn barrel out back, matching the clothing she was last seen in. And Andrew's brother and sister-in-law testified that Andrew made a confession to them. He made some statement along the lines of, if they find the body, I'm Today, police found the body at an undisclosed location. There was a turn in the case. I can't divulge the particulars. We committed to Anna's family that we do everything that we can do to bring Anna home, and we've done that. So today's a good day. Sad day, but a good day. Now, the prosecutor's office did make a deal with Hudson after that body was found. The details of that deal have not yet been released. Reporting live outside the Wyoming courthouse, Heather Walker, 24-Hour News 8. The search for Carrillo has taken many turns since she went missing more than two months ago. 24 Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks has covered this case every step of the way, and he's live tonight in the newsroom. Leon. Uh, Brian, good evening. The whole time the family has been saying their number one goal is to bring Anna Carrillo home. Of course, they were hoping it would be in a much different way than what they learned today, but it's no doubt been a very long road. September 3rd was the day it began. A mom set out to pick up her kids when she mysteriously vanished. It didn't take long for police to zero in on a suspect, Andrew Hudson, the father of her children. Finding the victim would be something else. Two months pass, a number of searches, homes of those involved combed through, and Johnson Park, the scene of one of the largest missing person searches the area has seen in September. It turned up nothing. Yesterday, information that turned out to be bogus, possibly from the suspect, brought police back to the park area. From the sky, you can see the effort underway, along with the massive manhunt. It became obvious shortly after noon that something had changed on this scene. We saw officers suddenly starting to leave the area, many of them likely headed to the undisclosed location where Anna Carrillo was ultimately found today. No doubt about it, a difficult time for the family, but certainly a first step toward finding some sort of closure from a two-month period that has seemed to last forever. Back to you. Yep, a lot of uh, emotion from that family when they learned the news today, Leon, that's for sure. Thank you.